Tuning in. In this video, I'm just going to go over some quick specs on the new Jackery 300 Plus. It's pretty new. They just came out with it. And I'm going to compare it to the old, older generator, the 300. And uh, what's interesting about the 300 Plus is it comes with a 40 watt solar panel that's pretty tiny. And um, yeah, let me show you. It's about the size of this 10 by 12. So it looks like it would be easy to stuff in a backpack or a bag. The, uh, the generator itself is about the same size as the older 300. So I, um, I came up with a, a spreadsheet, well, kind of like a dock, to just do a comparison on the solar panel and the generators. But let's get back to um, the, uh, the generator package here, the new one. Now it's uh, they're selling it for three ninety nine minus sixty bucks, so um, it's not a bad deal. Um, and the the forty watt panel is actually IP sixty eight, which is nice. That's real waterproof, and that's what intrigued me also. So as you can see, here's the difference. Quick reference between uh, the three hundred right here and the three hundred plus. This is. Uh, a different battery technology and um, actually it is made from uh, what is it here it is lithium ion phosphate is the newer technology and uh, that's compared to the lithium nickel manganese cobalt oxide and uh, one of the big advantages is the charge cycles which I have down here 1500 compared to 500 at 80 percent capacity so that's nice so let's go back to looking at the um, the front panel now. Um, they both have the um, the cigarette lighter adapter or the you know the uh, the accessory plug. Um, the LCD panel slightly different on a 300 plus. Now they include a light. They um, they only have one AC outlet as you see here compared to the two on the um, the previous model 300. They have uh, one less USB-A on the new version, and they have two USB-Cs. One of them is both ways. It goes in and out, and that's actually how you connect the input from the solar panels. So let's uh, take a quick look at the generators first, weight-wise. The 300 plus is a wee bit heavier at 8.27 pounds compared to 7.1 um, let's see right now the uh, the 300 the regular one selling for about 300 it's 399 uh, minus the 60 bucks is 339 includes a 40 watt solar panel I have a link below for that and if you want to take a look now here's the dimensions they're pretty close if you look uh, between them both, right? Um, the watt hour capacity for the 300 plus is not as much as the 300. You got 288 compared to 293. The interesting uh, with the AC output, they're showing 120 volts versus 110 with uh, a peak power that's 100 watts more, 600 versus 500. Um, we went over the USB. Uh, ports and here's the breakdown between uh, the different voltages and the amperage for that pure sine wave I believe the older one actually all I think all the uh, the Jackery is a pure sine wave which is good now uh, let's keep going now um, charging time AC adapter two hours that's pretty fast compared to the older units Four and a half for the 300 and five and a half for the 240. Now I have the 240. Right now I have in possession the 240 with the 80 watt solar panel. That's dual sided and I have the 300 plus on order. So I'll do a, a more in-depth review when that comes in. <clears throat> um, 1500 cycles versus 500. That's sweet. And of course it looks like they added two more years to their warranty. Now, that's if you buy it and you purchase it through the Jackery website or the official 
Jackery Amazon website uh, because there's lots of other dealers on Amazon. So you want to make sure if you do use Amazon, you're going to go through the authorized Jackery dealer one. Now here's a little layout of the uh, the 40 watt panel. It folds into its four panels. It folds into one, and it's pretty compact, about 10 by 12. Here's a list of the accessories that come with it. Now, uh, I didn't see a manual online, so I asked them about it, and they actually sent me uh, a PDF that's a little bit more explicit on how to connect this, um, the the 40 watt to different generators, um, and uh, a couple other aspects. But basically, when you're connecting stuff to the uh, the new 300 plus it's going to get as far as input it's going to go right into the USB-C adapter right here and they give you adapters for different panels all right so um let's see what else the um the AC charging cable actually um it doesn't have a separate transformer like a little box instead it is, uh, let me see here, right here. It's one of those regular um, female AC inputs. So if you do lose the cord, you'll probably be able to easily replace it rather than having to buy um, one with a special transformer on it. My 240 right now has that transformer. So that's uh, what's different. And uh, let's see, we have Bluetooth. So the Bluetooth app, let me show you quickly. If you look down on the, on the right, um, there's an app that actually works to monitor the 300 plus and only the higher end models, maybe the 2000 generator. So it doesn't cover all the generators. It's pretty new. They have an EPS, which is emergency power system, kind of like a, a UPS. So if you have something plugged into AC and the power fails, it'll switch to this unit. Uh, but it's 20 milliseconds. They're calling it a non-professional UPS function. So they're saying, like, don't really count on this. If you're using it for something really critical, real sensitive computer and so on. Um, they have some energy saving modes on this. And um, a few other, I guess, options to turn it on and off. So here's, to, here's a look on the, uh, the power supply. A little thought again about this USB input. I find it like if you're using a camping or on a job site, it might be easy to knock into it and break off the USB-C as opposed to the other connectors. That's something I'm not too crazy about. Let's talk about the solar panels. All right, like I said before, right now I have the Solar Saga 80 watt and um, it weighs 10.33 pounds. Interestingly enough, it's the same as the 100 watt panel as far as weight, but look at this. The 40 watt panel weighs 2.6 pounds. Nice and light and convenient. So um, very cool about that. The IP68 rating is something I'm also excited about. So if I did leave it at a campsite um, and I was away and it rained like crazy, I don't have to worry about it becoming damaged. Um, the same thing with the 80 watt one. But here's what I'm not too crazy about the 80 watt panel. It doesn't fold, and it, it, it just, um, it's a, a fixed 20.79 inches by 35, almost 3 feet. So that's pretty wide. It's not the easiest thing to transport. It's pretty bulky. Um, again, if you look at the 40 watt, it's 9.92 by 11.8, basically 10 by 12, and it folds um, down into that size from four different panels. Um, if you look at the 100, actually, that's nice because it folds, and it folds to 24 inches by 21, so it's a lot smaller when folded uh, than the 80 watt, and the 200 is actually the same dimensions. It just folds, uh, it opens up into four panels instead of two, so the 200 is basically 24 by 21 also, as far as I know. Um, so I, I thought that was pretty interesting. Let's take a look at some pictures again. So here it is. Um, 
to standing out against the table. Not too sure about the stand and the ability to point this towards the sun. Um, that's going to be fun. I'll be getting this soon, hopefully. Uh, let's scroll on down and see if we can see more here. This looks like it folded up. Looks nice and compact. Um, here it is on the beats next to the generator. And here it is with someone holding it like a notebook. So the 40 watt panel um, appears to be um, really convenient. Now I did email them and ask them, Jackery tech support, if I was able to connect two 40 watt panels to the 300 plus. And he said, no way, Jay. Uh, just that one, because uh, I was thinking about doing two 40 watt panels, which is easy to stash compared to the 80 watt dual sided. So that stinks. I don't know if there's a way to hack that, or bypass it. Let me know what you think in the comments. So um, yeah, there you go. So um, if you like the video, I uh, appreciate it if you give a thumbs up and keep an eye out for the hands-on review. Hopefully in the beginning of September, I'm going to get the 300 plus with the 40 watt panel. I'm going to test it here in uh, my New York City, Brooklyn apartment and also outside in the uh, full sun. So thanks for watching.